we've had a fantastic first 10 years where we've grown 40 times. Uh, we've gone from one line of business to five lines of business, uh, from television alone to now television, films, digital, live and, and merchandise. And within television, we've go gone from three channels at that point in time to 44 channels now. As we look ahead into the future, uh, the key imperatives for us are one, to continue to build our television business where we'll be focusing on sharper segmentation and building our portfolios in each genre. The second imperative for us as we go forward is building an ecosystem around our brands and characters. This may be particularly true for our kids ecosystem as I go forward. And finally, if you look at the third key thrust will be in the area of building a digital portfolio. So the digital portfolio will comprise of building Woot, which has just been launched and has been very successful, which is our, uh, you know, the AVOD model. But we will find different mo business models in this space and we will do a lot more. In the space of building ecosystems, which I talked to you very briefly about, Two businesses will get thrust as we go forward, further thrust, and I think they are businesses of the future, is our live business, where we will be able to do much more, build new IPs, build new, uh, you know, uh, programs, and also drive merchandising. And I think there is a lot of potential in this country on licensing and merchandising. As incomes grow, this is a business which will get a lot of Philip as we go forward. So all in all, these are the big business trusts but this has to be enabled by building a strong talent pipeline, both on content, which is our mainstay, we are storytellers, but moving forward also on technology and big data and analytics, and, and therefore getting some amount of that engineering, big data analytics kind of, ta uh, of uh, talent into our fold, or partnering, as you know we've done through our uh, program called VSTEP. So I think it's a combination of these two, coupled with the brilliant culture which we continue to provide at YCOM 18 and keep dialing up the culture quotient in our company is what will propel YCOM 18 as we go forward. When uh, Chairman Shri Mukesh Dhirubhai Amani was there at our 10th year celebration, we looked, uh, he talked about uh, the synergies briefly. I think there are a lot of synergies between what uh, Geo is doing and will continue to do and what we do. I think first and foremost is in the area of content and video. So I think our ability to provide quality content, leading uh, stories, I think is an area where we can definitely dwell. The second area is being able to look at data and that the entire piece on big data analytics at both places and I think therefore building a data powerhouse which enables Geo to continue to d develop an, an, a, a fantastic uh, a program uh, you know, of, or, or, of content for their customers. And finally, I think between the two teams, there is room to do things in the area of live uh, events, uh, experimentation with new technology, whether it is VR, um, 4K, AR. So these are the three broad areas of, of clear uh, synergies as we go forward. Thank you.